Here is the new version of the simulator for Arduino program, version 0.92. Today we will run through the changes from version 0.91 and then simulate several sketches. The file menu has two new items, open file in Arduino and hash include code. If we, was, if we select open file in Arduino, it does just that. The Arduino IDE opens and the sketch is ready to compile and download. The hash include code option allows code to be split across several files. We can open the cc2500.ino file and when we select hash include code and then reset we can see that the cc2500.h file has now been inserted into the window. The Run menu is the renamed Function menu. The Step function has now been split into a Step Into or Step Over function. We can demonstrate this with the cc2500.ino sketch. We enter the init cc2500 subroutine and then the reset cc2500 subroutine. Now we can press F8 to step over the next subroutines. A new feature is the breakpoint. Let's set a breakpoint on the Freak 0 line. It is now shown in red. When the breakpoint is reached, it changes to purple. Another nice feature is the vertical centering of the program window around the current line. The Variables window has been altered to now have all the variables in one list. Here we have 68 bytes, 93 integers and two longs defined. With the digital pins, the checkboxes have been removed and the pins can be clicked to be on or off. The digital input pins are now green. The last big feature is the addition of the Arduino Mega. If we select Hardware and then Mega, the picture changes to the high performance Arduino Mega board. The Uno R3 and Mega R3 pictures have been included in the zip file. Now let's simulate some sketches. We will load the MIDI sketch first and press F7 to step into subroutines. Note how the stack is cleaned after the subroutine returns. Now we can press F8 to step over the subroutines. Let's try the serial event sketch. We will press F7 to step into the subroutines and we can see the serial event subroutine is called while serial characters are available. We can reload the serial input with a new string. Hello, followed by a line feed. When we press F8, we don't see the serial event routine, but we see the output. Finally, let's try the bar graph sketch. We will press F9 to run and then press F5 to open the analog window and change the value.